Come on, let's give a hand clap of praise to the Lord right now. Come on, I wonder if we couldn't put our voice with it. Come on, is there somebody that made up in their mind, I didn't come, I didn't drive to church just to come in and leave like I came. But if somebody made up in their mind, tonight's going to be my night. Come on. Come on, God didn't, God didn't stay home because of the cold tonight. God didn't stay home because of icy roads, but God showed up. Is there somebody that said, you know what, I'm here. I'm here, and I might as well get everything I need tonight. I wonder if we couldn't take just a couple of seconds all over this house and just begin to lift up our hands one more time and say, God, whatever you got for me, I want it tonight. Uh, God, I'm thankful for my brother and my sister, but, Lord, it's me tonight. Uh, I need a touch. Uh, I need a miracle. Uh, I need a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, if you'll grab your Bibles tonight. Amen. Took with, turn with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter number 40. Amen. And verse number 3. And I'm going to go to Matthew 4 and 17. Amen. As you're turning there, I give honor to my pastor and my pastor's wife. I wish he could be here today. I know he's going to be hopefully flying back tonight if I heard right. Um, pray for him to have a safe trip, but uh, I do give honor to him. Love my pastor and pastor's wife. I give honor to my bishop and sister family. We love and admire them very much. And uh, thankful to be here tonight. And uh, pray for us heading out tomorrow. And uh, heading to Edinburgh. And hope the Lord will, pray the Lord will have his way while we are there. Amen. Amen. Matthew, or sorry, Isaiah 40 and 3. If you're there, say Amen. And the Bible says, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Matthew 4 and 17 says, from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Man, I want to preach tonight. I won't hold you too long, but I do feel like the Lord wants to do something in this house before we leave. I want to preach tonight on the thought, preparing a way for the kingdom. Preparing a way for the kingdom. If you will tonight, if you put your Bibles down, let's ask the Lord to have his way in the remainder of this service here tonight. Hallelujah. The church say amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Isaiah 40 and 3 says, The voice of him crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Isaiah begins to proclaim that there's going to come a Messiah. There's going to come a babe. Jesus is going to come and he's He's going to be the Savior for the world. He's going to be the answer for humanity. He's going to be the, the Lamb slain. He's going to be the salvation for the world. And he says before that happens, there's going to be a voice of somebody crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. We read through the Old Testament and we find throughout Scripture that the Word of God begins to come and dime after time God will send a prophet and a man of God to come proclaim that the Word of the Lord. And we, we come to the closing of the chapter of, of the last book of the Old Testament and for 400 years it's silent. For 400 years uh, we don't hear a word spoken. A, a, a prophet come forth, uh, a man of God step up to a pulpit and preach a word. But... They're, they're living through 400 years of silence, 400 years of not a word from God. And they're, they're living in their life waiting on that moment of when is the Messiah going to come? When is the, 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 the promise, the prophecy going to be fulfilled? When is it going to come to pass? And we find in Matthew, the Bible begins to talk about John the Baptist, uh, a man uh, eating uh, locusts and wild honey and clothed and, and, and uh, camel's hair and Amen. He begins to show up on the scene and he begins to 
to begin to cry out, uh, amen, and begins to be the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Could you imagine 400 years of silence, uh, 400 years of not hearing anything? I don't know about you, but if I'm, if I got 20 minutes where I'm not having something going on, I start getting a little troubled and a little bothered in my, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, my attention gets a little out of control and I, I got to find something to do. I, I got to find something. 400 years uh, is a long time to go through it without uh, a word from the Lord. And the Bible says that John the Baptist shows up and he begins to cry out, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Uh, he begins to shout and begin to let him know that the kingdom of heaven uh, is at hand. Uh, amen. I begin to think as they begin to hear those words words. Uh, those words of that old prophecy began to come forth. Uh, those old words of that old prophecy began to come to pass. Uh, I wonder if they begin to begin to think in their mind uh, is this the promise? Uh, is this the word of God that we've been waiting on? Uh, is this what I've been waiting for? Uh, is this my year that I'm going to get a breakthrough? Uh, is this the service uh, where I could get my miracle? Uh, is this the revival uh, where my family comes home is this the promise that I've been praying for is there somebody that's waiting with anticipation saying God I'm ready for it I've heard about it for years amen I've heard the prophecies I've heard preachers say it but God I'm looking forward to the hand of God coming down I'm looking forward to the kingdom of God showing up is there somebody here tonight that says God I'm tired of the silence. I'm tired of the wilderness. God, I'm hungry for revival. I'm hungry for a breakthrough. I'm hungry for my miracle. Come on, I know it's cold outside. Is there somebody tonight that showed up that said, God, I'm ready for your kingdom to show up because when your kingdom shows up, a man that comes with revival, when the kingdom shows up, miracles are on the way. When the kingdom shows up, there's a breakthrough about to happen but there's got to be somebody that's ready for the kingdom of God come on I find it, I found it interesting. The Bible says, uh, hey man, where John the Baptist came from, he didn't come from the fine garden. Uh, he didn't come from some lush palace, but the Bible says uh, he was the voice uh, of one crying uh, in a wilderness. Uh, I came to preach to somebody tonight uh, that's been in the middle uh, of a wilderness for a while. Uh, I came to preach to somebody tonight uh, that knows what it's like to go uh, through a dry season. Uh, hey man, I come to tell you that's where John the Baptist showed up from but when he showed up the Bible said he was the voice of one crying in a wilderness I came to preach to somebody tonight it's time for somebody to wake up it's time for somebody to lift up your voice and begin to shout because it was a voice crying in a wilderness a man that brought on the kingdom of God that showed up for Jesus Christ a man I come to let somebody know on the other other side of your cry uh, is a Jesus uh, on the other side of a John the Baptist uh, in the middle of a wilderness uh, came Jesus walking uh, when Jesus showed up uh, it was miracles uh, when Jesus showed up uh, there was revival uh, when Jesus showed up uh, there was provision uh, but it started with one uh, crying uh, in the wilderness uh, come on God's not looking for a dead church uh, God's not looking for a silent church uh, God's not looking for a church uh, that's defeated uh, but he's looking for somebody uh, that'll say I may have been in the desert uh, it may have been dry uh, it may have been lonely uh, but I'm lifting up my voice tonight uh, I'm lifting up my voice like a trumpet uh, and I'm going to begin to shout uh, come on somebody uh, I've walked around in a wilderness of depression uh, I've walked around in a wilderness uh, of financial trouble uh, I've walked around in a wilderness of cancer uh, I messed I've had problems Problems on every side, but I know that if I can lift up my voice, if I can begin to shout, that walls come down. When I shout, breakthrough happens. Come on, somebody, is there somebody that'll lift up their voice and say, God, I'm ready for the kingdom of God to show up. Amen. 
From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom is of heaven, is at hand. Come on, when Jesus showed up, Amen. It didn't matter how long the silence was. When the promise showed up, everything came to pass. Uh, Amen. All those old prophecies. uh, Excuse me, that had been hanging in the wind for 400 years. Uh, When Jesus showed up on the scene, uh, he showed up with all power. Uh, He showed up with all ability. Uh, He showed up with all power to heal. Uh, All power to save. Uh, All power uh, over all sickness. Uh, Amen. When Jesus shows up, uh, he's got every answer uh, that we're looking for tonight. Daniel 4 and 34. At the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes uh, unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me. Uh, and I blessed the Most High, uh, and I praised and honored him that liveth forever, uh, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, uh, and his kingdom uh, is from generation uh, to generation. Uh, he said that gener- the kingdom of God, uh, it's not just something that was there uh, in the book of Acts. Uh, it wasn't just around uh, for the church on the day of Pentecost. Uh, it wasn't just for the church in the 19 early 1900s it wasn't just for the church in the 1980s but he said the kingdom of God is from generation to generation to generation what are you preaching amen God's not slack concerning his promise he's still a healer he's still a deliverer he's still a way maker he's still able to convict a backslider he's still able to break the bands of addiction He's still a way maker. Uh, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, the kingdom of heaven. Come on, somebody. I know we live in a world, a hey man of lust, perversion, murder, greed. You name it. You pick up a paper. Hey man, every time you think you've read a headline that'll blow your mind, just pick up the paper the next day. Uh, click on the news on your phone on the next day and you'll read about something worse and worse. Uh, hey man, and I find, uh, hey man, where sin doth abound, uh, grace does much more abound. Uh, he said his dominion uh, is greater than anything. Uh, hey man, I come to let you know uh, the church uh, is the answer. Uh, hey man, this world may wax worse and worse, uh, but it's time for the church uh, to wax greater and greater Uh, amen it ain't time uh, for the church to take a back seat uh, but it's time for the church of the living God uh, to step up and understand uh, who we are Uh, we're the church Uh, we're the bride of Christ Uh, we're his children Uh, amen if he's going to be pouring out revival uh, let him do it at abundant life Uh, if there's going to be miracles uh, let it happen uh, at abundant life Amen. Daniel 7 begins to talk about the four beasts. Amen. That are going to come against. Amen. I find at the close of that chapter, Daniel 7 and 27 says, And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him when he got down to the final of all the beast he shows up and he says I'm going to give all dominion to the saints of the most high and his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom he didn't say it was a sometimes kingdom but he said it's an everlasting kingdom and it's he's got dominion over everything I come to preach to somebody uh, it doesn't say uh, that we'd have dominion over some cancer uh, but we got dominion uh, over it all Uh, it didn't say we'd have some dominion uh, over some heart problems uh, but it said we'd have dominion uh, over it all Uh, and he said I'm going to give it uh, to the church uh, but the church is going to have to rise up uh, in the last day uh, and understand who we are uh, and what we got Uh, amen it's not time to sit back uh, but there's got to be a 
a church that will arise and say, God, I'm going to take it. I'm going to get a hold of it. Come on, somebody. We've allowed sickness to hang around too long. We've allowed depression to hang around too long. We've allowed trouble to hang around too long. There needs to be somebody that stands up and say, not another day in my house. Not another day in my church. Not another day in my family. Amen. It's an everlasting dominion. It's an everlasting kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. Come on, is there somebody here today? I don't say, God, if it's your kingdom and you said the church can have it, I'm getting ready to get up and I'm ready to possess it. Amen. Is there somebody here tonight that would say, you know what, preacher? I spent too many days with the enemy running through my, through my garden. The enemy has stolen too much in 2018. But there's got to be a church that arises and says, you know what? I'm going to prepare a way for the kingdom. I'm going to prepare a way for for what God wants to do. It's an everlasting kingdom. But there's got to be a church that will rise and get a hold of it. Amen. It's an everlasting kingdom. Amen. I'll slow down for a second. I feel like I'm doing a little pumpkin dropping up here. But we'll, we'll get where we're trying to go. Mark. Amen. As I begin to look at the kingdom of God, Mark 4, 26 says, And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring up and grow up. And he knoweth not. And he begins to talk about a man. And he goes out and he begins to cast the seed into the ground. And, the, and, they, and he should sleep, and the Bible says, and he rises night and day, and the seed should spring up and grow, and he knoweth it not. And then a little bit farther down in the Scripture, he begins to talk in Mark 4 and 31. Jesus here in his parable, he says, beginning to talk about the kingdom of heaven, he says, it is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that, are, that be in the earth. Uh, but when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all the herbs and shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. I begin to think as I read those two parables, there's two parables that the Lord's given about one man. He goes out and he sows his seed and another parable about the mustard seed. It's put into the ground and when it comes forth, it grows up as a, a mighty tree and that the fowls of the air can come in. And I begin to look, what was the common the commonality between these two two parables here and I found uh, the common ground that I saw was the ground itself uh, when the ground had been prepared uh, it didn't matter the size of the seed uh, when the ground had been prepared uh, it didn't matter how big or how little the seed was uh, but somebody had went out and put something in the ground uh, and when it came forth uh, it came forth a mighty tree uh, hey amen I come to tell somebody uh, the kingdom of heaven uh, is like when somebody he says I'm going to the field uh, and I'm going to put something in the ground uh, it may not be a lot uh, but I'm going to put my prayer in the ground uh, it may not be a lot but I'm going to witness to that person uh, at the gas station uh, amen when the ground is prepared uh, it'll bring forth a harvest uh, amen when the ground is prepared uh, it'll bring forth some hundredfold, uh, some thirtyfold, uh, some sixtyfold. Uh, but somebody's got to go out to the field uh, amen and say the kingdom of God is what matters I'm going to prepare a way for the kingdom of God come on Come on, it's just, it's just Wednesday night Bible study. It's just getting up early before work and praying. No, it's not. It's putting a seed in the ground. It's preparing a way for the kingdom of God. Preacher, it's been a while. I planted a lot of things. Amen. But I come to tell you, keep putting it in the ground. Keep sowing the harvest because the harvest will come. God's word is true. But somebody's got to prepare a way for the kingdom of God. Man, begins to tell, hey man, 
uh, Mark 4 begins to tell the parable about the sower and the seed. Some fell by the wayside. Some fell on stony ground. But when it, but those that got into the earth, that seed that got down deep into the earth, when it sprung up, it sprung up with something that had last. It sprung up with something that'll hold on. Hey man, it may have looked like sometimes what you're doing was going on stony ground, and sometimes it may fall among the thorns, but you keep playing and you keep putting the seed in the ground because one of these days it's going to take root. Come on, somebody. Hey man, don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your children. Children, uh, keep putting the seed uh, in the crown uh, because the harvest uh, is coming from the field. Uh, the harvest uh, is coming uh, from the field. Man, as I began to think about that, my mind began to go back. The Lord goes back all the way to the very beginning. Genesis 1. The Bible begins to talk about God begins to form man hang with me I promise I'm going somewhere I'm not just jumping over the place for no reason hey man he begins to form man from the dust of the earth hey man he forms earth hey man and out of that earth he reaches down into the dust picks up and he creates man out of the earth hey man this ain't really my message but let me just help somebody real quick uh, Bible says when he created the earth it was without form and it was void uh, and darkness was upon the face of the deep uh, hey man and the Bible says and the spirit of God moved upon the face uh, of the waters uh, hey man when God created the earth it was in darkness uh, and it was without form and it was void uh, it was a mess but the Bible says uh, and the spirit of God began to move uh, upon the face of the waters uh, and out of darkness uh, he made something beautiful uh, let me preach to somebody right now uh, that's going through a season of darkness uh, that's going through a season of trouble uh, and you feel like God's not on the job uh, hey man I come to tell you uh, it's in the dark uh, that God does his best work uh, it's behind the curtain of darkness uh, that God shows up uh, and makes the greatest masterpiece uh, because when the light comes on uh, what was formless uh, and void uh, and in darkness uh, when it came out out on the other side it was something beautiful it was something great somebody tonight needs to hold on through the darkness somebody needs to hold on through the night because when the morning comes and the spirit of God begins to move hey man I come to tell somebody tonight you may be in the darkness of sickness but the spirit of God's moving in this place tonight it was moving at the beginning it was moving before they gave it to me and it can move at altar call Oh, uh, amen but somebody's got to say uh, I'm tired of the darkness uh, Lord I need a move of God tonight uh, I'm tired of sickness uh, I need a move of God tonight uh, I'm tired of depression uh, I need a move of God tonight uh, preacher my family's in trouble uh, let God move in this house uh, preacher my marriage is on the rocks uh, let God move in this house uh, preacher you don't know my finances uh, no but you don't understand the power uh, of a move of God Come on, there's got to be somebody here tonight. Uh, hey man, when God moves, we got to respond. Uh, when God begins to move, uh, hey man, his creation will... Shut myself off. Uh, hey man, when God moves, uh, hey man, his creation responds. Uh, but when God moves in a house, uh, we've got to make up in our mind. Uh, I'm going to respond to the word of God. Uh, I'm going to respond uh, to the moving of the spirit. Uh, hey man, you may have walked in here broke, uh, but you can walk out of here healed. Uh, you may have walked in here sick, uh, but you can walk out of here with your answer. Uh, why? Uh, because God's moving uh, at abundant life tonight. So out of darkness, he creates earth. Out of earth, he reaches down, makes man. And out of man, a man comes forth, his creation. A man. And then we begin to read over in Matthew 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray you, ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. When I said that, I always like to say, let thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But I realize it don't say on earth. It says in earth as it is in heaven. I begin to think out of earth, God created man, flesh. Amen. Out of the dust of the earth, he created man. Amen. And out of that earth became the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I begin to think, uh, I wonder if God doesn't want us to get to the point uh, where he says that let your will be done. Let the kingdom come uh, in earth uh, as it is in heaven. Uh, I wonder if he don't want us to get to the place uh, where we let this earthly tabernacle uh, get to the place where we say, God, uh, I want your will done uh, in my life. Uh, I want you to do your will uh, in this earthen vessel. Amen. I preached that to get to this. The other day, reading this verse, me, in is in. If you read the word in, to me it means in earth, in heaven. But I clicked on my little Bible application I have there. I got one with a Strong's Accordance on it. And I clicked on that word in earth found that word in there and it comes from I don't even know how to pronounce the word the Greek word number 1909 in your Strong's Concordance if you get it out so I'm reading that then I flip over and I go to in heaven and I click on that word and you'd think in is in brother Sam but that word in is G number 1722 and I know that means nothing to you but it, it, I found that they that the in in heaven and the in in earth wasn't the same word. And I thought that's that's interesting. There's, that's kind of odd. One it, we're four words apart, and the word in means two different things. And so I began to dig a little bit deeper, and I found that that the in when he said in earth begins to talk about distribution, and the in in heaven begins to you start bursting it down and it begins to talk about surrender and I begin to think uh, hey man he said when, when I begin to look at that surrender and distribution uh, earth and heaven uh, and I begin to think uh, when we here in earth uh, in our earthland flesh uh, we begin to surrender uh, that heaven the kingdom uh, of God says uh, that heaven uh, is going to distribute uh, and man I come to preach to somebody tonight uh, we prepare the way uh, for the kingdom of God uh, when Somebody says, I'm going to surrender my time. I'm going to surrender my will. And God says, when I find a church that's willing to surrender, when I find a church that says, thy kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven, I'm going to surrender here on earth. God says, I'll distribute in heaven. I'll pour out my spirit. Amen. I come to preach to somebody tonight. Is there a church that's hungry for revival? Is there a church? that's tired of sickness is there a church that's tired of trouble I come to tell you we got to prepare a way for the kingdom and how we do that is earth has a surrender so heaven will distribute come on Come on, is there somebody here tonight that uh, would say, Preacher, I, I know what it's like to go through the desert. I, I know what it's like to go through a dry time. Uh, hey man, I got to preach to somebody tonight. Maybe everybody here tonight's not hungry. Uh, maybe everybody here tonight uh, is not tired of trouble. Uh, but I come to preach to one or two tonight uh, that says, Preacher, I... Uh, I gotta have revival. I, I've gotta have a miracle. I, I've gotta have a breakthrough. I, I come to tell you when the earth surrenders, I, when we give up I, and say, Lord, not my will, I, but thy will be done. I, God says that's where I can show up I, with all power in my hand. I, that's where I can show up I, with everything I, the church has been praying for. Amen. When the church says, I'm going to pray, I'm going to give. 
I'm going to fast. I'm going to worship. I'm going to praise. Amen. I know it feels like it's a sacrifice, but I'm going to give a little bit more. I know I got to wake up early, but I'm going to find myself a place to pray. I know I had to work hard today, but I'm going to get the word back out. I know I work every day, but I'm going to go witness to somebody. Amen. God says when somebody is willing to surrender, when God says when somebody is willing to give up control, that's somewhere where I can pour out revival. Amen. You want to know the churches that I see revival in? It's those that say, God, I'm willing to give it all to you. I'm willing to fast. I'm willing to pray. I want your kingdom to come tonight. Amen. I found Abraham. Amen. Says, Lord, I'm going to surrender in Isaac. And God says, I'm going to distribute. And I'm going to make you the father of many nations. Moses says, I'm going to surrender a life of luxury with Pharaoh. And God says, I'm going to let you lead three million people out of bondage. Israel says, I'm going to surrender. Or Elisha says, I'm going to surrender. I'm going to burn the plow and the oxen. And God says, I got a mantle of a double portion for you. The three Hebrew boys said, I'm going to surrender and not bow. And God said, I'll show up in a fiery furnace with you. Jesus showed up and surrendered at Calvary and out of Calvary came salvation amen is there somebody here tonight that says God I need you to show up I need you to distribute I need a miracle tonight I need a breakthrough tonight I need victory tonight God's here tonight to break through God's here tonight to heal God's here tonight to deliver but he's got to have somebody that says Lord I surrender have your way on earth in earth as it is in heaven come on when earth surrenders come on God's standing there full of everything the church needs he's got all power all glory all victory all answers all miracles all blessings the church needs Amen. But the church has got to say, you know what? Uh, amen. I didn't come to show up on a Sunday night. Uh, I came to prepare a way for the kingdom. Uh, I came to prepare a way uh, for God to move tonight. Uh, amen. As the music will begin to come, I'm almost done. Uh, amen. As they begin to sing tonight uh, and they begin to talk about when he comes into the room. Uh, amen. Everything changes uh, when he steps into the room. Uh, amen. Sickness has to flee. Uh, all trouble has to go away. I come to tell you that's what God showed up to do tonight. Amen. The kingdom of God is here. Amen. To be victorious. The kingdom of God is here to make a way out of no way. But he's looking for somebody to say, Lord, I want to prepare a way for you to come tonight. I want to surrender. I want to give up it all to you, God, and let you have your way tonight. Amen. If we'll stand all over this house. Man, I was praying as we're standing up here. And as Lord begin to move. And I was, Lord, just let it go. Let somebody respond. Let somebody get out of their pew. Let somebody push aside and press into that place where you're wanting to go. Amen. As I stood up here and trying to follow after the Lord, and Lord, what do you want to do? Hey, man, I feel like He's still here to do what He wanted to do at the beginning. He's still here to do what He wanted to do 20, 30 minutes ago. Hey, man, He's wanting to touch somebody's life. He's wanting to touch somebody's heart. He's, he's wanting to touch somebody's spirit here tonight. Uh, Amen. But somebody has to say, Lord, uh, I'm going to prepare a way uh, for the kingdom of God to show up. Uh, I'm going to be the voice crying out. Uh, amen. I don't know how big your wall is tonight, but somebody needs to begin to cry out. Uh, 
Somebody begins to say, Lord, I, I want to make a way for the kingdom of God to show up. Uh, amen. I don't know what you're facing. Uh, if you showed up here tonight and you're facing sickness, uh, I wish you'd come down to the altar and say, God, uh, I surrender tonight. Uh, I need you to distribute in my life. Uh, if your family's broken, why don't you come down here uh, and say, God, uh, I can't do it on my own. Uh, but tonight, uh, I want to give you my will. Uh, I want to surrender tonight uh, so you can distribute uh, if there's somebody here tonight that says, God, uh, I'm hungry for revival. I, I need a move of God in this place. Uh, my family needs a shaking. Uh, my city needs a shaking. Uh, I wish somebody tonight would say, God, uh, I want to prepare a way uh, for the kingdom. Uh, I want to find myself a place to surrender uh, so that God can find a place uh, to distribute uh, at 1003 West Lincoln Street. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, God's standing here tonight with everything thing you prayed for in his hands uh, but he's looking for somebody uh, to say God uh, let your kingdom come uh, in earth uh, as it is in heaven come on tonight when the earth come on when we surrender God shows up when John the Baptist said I'm going to prepare a way God said that's when I'm stepping on the scenes that's when I'm breaking the silence come on somebody I don't care how many years it's been I don't care how long the doctors told you Hey man, that sickness is in your life. I don't care how long it's been. Somebody tonight needs to prepare a way. Somebody needs to say, God, I'm ready for the kingdom of heaven to show up. Come on, can we find a place to pray? If you don't need to pray, can you just lift your hands and talk to them tonight? Lord, we pray your will be done. Every Behold the one seated high upon the throne. Come on, if you don't need to play, would you find somebody here tonight? Come on, if you're not facing the wilderness, would you find somebody and say, I'm going to help you cry out tonight? Come on, all over this place. Everything changes when you're Come on, would you do this for me tonight? Whether you need to pray or not, all over this house, can we begin to lift up our hands and lift up our voice and say, God, let the kingdom of God come. Let revival come. Let this be the year of a harvest. Let this be the year of a breakthrough tonight. Let 
our hands all across this room. Thank God for his word tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I believe you for a miracle tonight that's leaving this place. Hallelujah. 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 God, I thank you for it. I thank you for it, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What an awesome day in his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you to everyone that helped today, that came out and helped clean off the parking lot. Thanks to our bishop for tirelessly working in his tractor and cleaning things off. And we had a young man that graduated with some of our young men, came in with his truck and helped push off some of it. And uh, so thankful that we can have church tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to ever come to church and just leave without being touched and by being changed by his presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Be safe on the road on the way home. And uh, God bless you. We'll see you Wednesday night. Lord willing, if we don't get any more snow, anything like that, in Jesus' name, let it bypass us. All the kids that are wanting out of school are thinking, oh, no. But it's uh, the older you get, the worse the snow gets, it seems. Anyway, we're thankful for everyone here tonight. I do have one thing real fast. I have a pair of glasses that were left up here. Uh, this has been since watch night. They were put back over here on pastor's table. They're a pair of Foster Grant. Uh, looks like they may be reading glasses, not 100% certain. They got a wire frame around the bottom. I, I have no idea. I, I, have, I have no 
might be there. Just want to make sure there's nobody, nobody's missing their glasses. Nobody's walking around, letting the blind lead the blind. All right. You're dismissed in Jesus' name. Shake someone's hand. Tell them how good it is to see them. Tell them you love them. Good night.